What's up guys, David here from Phone Buff, and in this video, we're going to be doing a speed comparison test between the Play Edition of the Galaxy S4, which runs on pure stock Android just like on Nexus devices, and the regular version of the Galaxy S4, which runs on Samsung's TouchWiz modified version of the OS. Now, before we begin, I want to let you guys know that I've been wanting to do a speed test like this for a really long time. I mean, almost every time I've tested an Android phone, I've wondered to myself whether or not the phone would be faster if it was running on stock Android compared to a manufacturer skin. I've always felt like stock Android was a little bit faster or just a little less laggy than manufacturer UIs. And now, for the first time ever, we can actually put that idea to the test with identical phones, with identical hardware, with the only difference being the official version of their software. So in the boot up test you can see the play edition of the Galaxy S4 on the left side shows us the lock screen first. We'll go ahead and unlock it and just after the touchless version loads up. So for the first test you have to give the nod to the play edition. So the next test we'll run here is the application speed test. Note that both of these phones have actually been factory reset with just a couple of apps installed for the purpose of this video. So first app we'll test here is Flixster. And you can see pretty much identical load up times considering that they have identical specs. Not all that surprising. Uh, tapping on the listing, you see maybe a little bit faster on the Play Edition, tapping Play Trailer, and we see it first on the Samsung version, so a little bit of mixed results, uh, pretty much have to call that one a tie. Next Apple test here is going to be Score Center, so tap them at the same time. And uh, once again, you can see the content loaded up maybe a split second faster on the Play Edition of the S4. Uh, same thing happened with the Flixer app, so we'll tap on videos and see if there's a recurring theme going on. So we'll tap on this video here at the same time. And yeah, the video loaded up faster on the TouchWiz version, just like it did with Flixster. So, seems like, for whatever reason, videos are a little bit faster on the TouchWiz version. And when it comes to loading up content, at least within apps, seems to be a little bit faster on the Play Edition. We'll go ahead and load up this article, just so we can be sure. And uh, it seems to be taking a little bit longer than usual. But yeah, so there you go. You can see that the content did load up first on the Play Edition. And, uh, you know, video loads up first on the TouchWiz version. So, again, mixed results. So overall, I have to say it's a tie. So with the app speed test out of the way, let's go ahead and run some good old fashioned benchmarks. So the first benchmark we're going to be running here is going to be Geekbench 2. And as you can see, the Play Edition of the Galaxy S4 scored a 3,243, which is just slightly higher than the 3,214 scored on the TouchWiz version. So very, very close, just like this pretty much this whole test has been. But the slight edge here does go to the Play Edition. And the next benchmark we're going to be running is going to be Antune 2. And as you can see here, the Play Edition finished first with a score of 25,228, which is again just slightly higher than the 25,094 on the TouchWiz version. So close once again, but the edge does go to the Play Edition, which has sort of been the theme so far. Okay, so before we wrap up this video, let's go ahead and do a quick browser test here. So the browser we're going to be using is Google Chrome on both phones, so that way it's nice and fair. Clear out the browsing history and cache on both, and they're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, so it's going to be as fair as possible. So the first website we're going to be testing is, of course, phonebuff.com, and so far, they look like they're neck and neck. I mean, really, really close. We're seeing the content a little bit faster on the Play Edition once again, and uh, that one is really close. You guys can be the judge of that one. I'll go ahead and tap on this article here, and hopefully we get some more separation between the two. And uh, so this time the status bar says that the Play Edition is done significantly faster than the uh, TouchWiz version, but honestly they both look like they're done loading, so again, it was really close. If I had to give the edge, it's going to be of course to the Play Edition, but let's go ahead and try another website. The next site we're going to be testing is The Verge, so we're going to go to the mobile site first here, and so far it looks like the TouchWiz version is actually loading it up faster, so we'll go ahead and tap on this article here. And that one, I don't think you get closer to the tie than that one. Uh, scrolling, uh, not necessarily the smooth. I mean, they're smooth, but there's some white uh, blank space there on both of them. So that was pretty much a tie. Going to the full site, we're seeing the content first on the TouchWiz version. But it looks like the content finished loading up first on the PlayStation. So honestly, I mean, I think it's just too close to call. But that's pretty much how it's been throughout this whole entire speed test. I mean, in one area, the Play Edition is faster, and in another, the TouchWiz version is faster. And overall, you're going to get a very similar experience in terms of speed with either of these two devices. But I will say that the Play Edition of the S4 seems to offer a more consistent speed experience compared to the TouchWiz version. Not only because of what we saw in this test here, but with my personal experience with these two devices, I have noticed a bit of lag from time to time on my Galaxy S4 with TouchWiz, which is kind of hard to replicate in a video, but... Definitely something worth noting, but 
That's pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more mobile technology videos just like this. Thank you for watching.